Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Mountain Blade Bannerlord and I'm doing another guide and today's is how to create a bannerman or uh, a lord in the game. So in the last video in this series of guides I showed you how to form a kingdom and I went through both the sandbox mode, how to do it in sandbox, or the story mode. And I kind of just summarized the missions that lead you to it. But once you've founded your kingdom and you've got some extra settlements in it because, you know, you need them to have lords otherwise why would anyone serve you if you don't have a castle form or whatever. Uh, but once you've gotten to that point you are gonna want to have people in your kingdom that are you know following your leadership and helping you win wars and stuff because starting your own kingdom you will be at wars and there are two different ways to do this the first one is to convince lords from other kingdoms to come and join you or the second one is to create your own lords which is the one i'm gonna mostly focus on today but first i'll just in case you've never played the game before or you don't know how i'll show you how to convince a lord from another kingdom to join you so first of all you want to decide who you want to join you and the way that I like to do it is you know depending on who I'm deciding to be and in this one I'm being an imperial kingdom I'm going to reunite the entire empire that's my goal but that's so I'm going to stick with imperial people but let's say you're doing Vlandian then I will stick with Vlandian so the way that I like to do it is you go in here pick on kingdoms and so we'll start with the northern empire and the best thing to do is because you're going to be fighting against these people so the best thing to do is pick out a strong clan that you want to bring to you so I like to avoid the minor clans like the Wolfskins, Skolderbroda, uh, Brotherhood of the Woods, Lake Rats, Jawal. Those are all basically mercenary clans. So we're going to start with the Ago uh, Argoros. And so you just click on there, you find the leader, and see he was at Melian Castle today. So we're going to go over to Melian Castle and see if we can talk to him. Well, they're involved in a siege, so I can't talk to them, but we'll talk to someone in Lucan's member uh, army. It doesn't matter, I'm not actually going to try to convince them to join me. Uh -huh. I just want to show you. So when you talk to him, you introduce yourselves, and then you say there's something I'd like to discuss, and then uh, you would ask candidly, what do you think your liege Luke on? So the problem here is that obviously we're talking to the son of the emperor, so he's not going to say anything, but uh, if you're talking to someone who is capable of leaving the kingdom and it has to be the leader of the clan then they'll say they'll ask what are you asking and then you'll say i'm the true ruler or the rightful ruler i ask you to support me and then you have to go through some dialogue checks where you have to have your skill high enough and enough renown to convince them to join you and if you do they'll join you they'll bring their whole clan over to your empire so that's the standard way of creating uh or or getting clans in your kingdom but it's not the way i like to do because then they bring all their baggage with them i like to control it and so the the standard way of controlling it is by companions so you can turn your companions into lords so you can see i've got uh six companions here uh in my clan a couple of them are leading caravans but three of them are in my my little posse here and so for starters if you want to find companions you go into your uh encyclopedia click on heroes and then you're going to want to set it to what you want so if you don't care then click female and male or don't click either of them because that'll be the default click alive obviously and then choose the culture you want so since i'm the empire uh, I'm doing an imperial one. I want them to be imperial. And then you click wanderer. Uh, that will show you all of the current wanderers in the world uh, that fit those standards. So I only have one that's that exists that is not currently already in my clan. And so it's to me on the surgeon and he's been he was at he's at Tial. And so once you get to the settlement that they're at, you go to the tavern district. So you can see he's in here. Talk to him and then you just offer him through the top one and then now he's in my uh he's in my party and then i like to take him and get him armored up uh decently first so we're not uh ooh, i've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory that i can sell so that they're not all poorly armored and and ill prepared to actually be lords and so once we've got him armed and armored then we're going to turn him into a lord so there's a bunch of different ways of doing this but i find the best way is the way that you start a a party for your clan and then you ask them to be a lord that way they start out with an army and you you can choose to give them really good troops it gives them a nice boost from the beginning so if you want to form a party you go click on clan or whatever you press l on the keyboard go to parties and create a new party and so now we're going to have temi on the surgeon lead this party and we're going to give him troops and see because i had some well-trained troops already ready in my inventory for him i was able to give him a decent starting army so he has 74 imperial elite cataphracts 50 imperial legionaries and 25 imperial sergeant crossbowmen this is going to give him a really decent starting uh, army for his clan and so then we're done so now we've started that army and now he will be right next to you on the map you go and talk to him and then you say i wish to reward you for your services and then he'll be like oh cool 
badass. And you'll be like, indeed, you're blah, blah, blah. And then you pick one of your fiefs to give him. And I'm just going to give him Chinopsis Castle, uh, which I've already garrisoned. So he's good to go. And then you say, I'm pleased to grant you uh, the title of an Archon and a fiefdom of Chinopsis Castle. You richly deserve it. And then blah, blah, blah. It'll cost you 20,000 gold and 500 influence. And then boom. Now you get to name his clan. And we're going to give him a imperial, uh, a Roman imperial feeling name. So we're going to call him the House of Flavia. And so now Temion the Surgeon is a lord in the Roman Empire. He holds that castle. And if you go into kingdom and check clans, we now have another clan. And so that automatically brings some new lords into your, uh, into your kingdom. So now not only do we have him as a lord, but he brings two new family members. So our kingdom now has a lord. And that's how you do it. So like I said, there are other ways to do that. Like I think if you have them uh, leading, like as the governor of one of your towns, you can do the same thing. You can reward them. You can talk to them at your town and reward them with a fief. But I like doing it this way because A, I already had the castle ready and garrison for him. And B, that way I gave him a really nice starting army so it just gives him a sweet boost and helps him be a more powerful lord in the game uh, but that is how you do it so if you were wondering how to turn companions into lords in this game so they can help you on your kingdom this is how you do it uh, i hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it useful i know i've seen questions asking how to do this so that's why i did this uh, but that's all for today if you have any requests for things that you are curious about how to do in the game let me know down in the comment section and i will check them out but that's all for today we'll see you next time thanks for watching another dare to game video if you like this video please leave a like and a comment if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.